Hi guys, welcome back to another DIY channel. In this video, we're gonna do a thrift flip. I found this side table in a thrift store and I know I have to do up my son's room, but I told him that I will do it up really slowly. And um, I've made an inspiration for his room on Canva Pro, as I've mentioned before in one of my previous videos that whenever I come through an inspiration of an interior design, I put it together using Canva Pro. Now, he loves the design and he wants me to rush through obviously because he wants to see the finished product but I don't want to just go out and buy the things if you know I could spend like a thousand dollars and then complete his room done finished you know but I don't want to just go out and buy these things I want to be able to put my touch in his room and to make it look a bit authentic and handmade if you catch my drift so I found this side table um, and I thought it'd be perfect for his bedroom I could just paint it maybe a blue shade or a red shade I am not really sure at this point but I do have a reference point he he has a spider-man picture hanging on top of his bed and he really absolutely loves spider-man and Sonic so I thought I'll take inspiration and cue from these two and see what I can do with this table with that said, let's get on with today's video. But before we do that, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sitil. I'm a former medical doctor. I left my job last year because of COVID. But in the midst of personal growth, I decided that I did not want to go back to work in pursuit of my passion for many things that I like in life. One of them is talking about minimalism, productivity, and of course, doing a lot of lifestyle videos. So with that said, if you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also follow me, subscribe down below and follow me. Like, what are you waiting for? And also share it with your friends and family if you think that they will like this DIY. It's really easy to do with very minimal tools and I'm not a professional DIYer. I am a medical doctor who loves doing a lot of arts and stuff. Let's get on with today's video. So the first thing I did was to remove all the hardware and remove anything that was sticky on the inside. There were a few like papers on the inside which I didn't quite like. Next, I closed the holes where the doorknobs came out from because I uh, wanted to put new doorknobs. And then I washed everything with some bleach and water which um, I do to almost everything that I thrift from the store. And here's the part that you probably or oh, I should have been careful about. I should not have actually washed it down with water instead of I should have just wiped it off because what it actually did was make the melamine um, or not melamine, the whatever was made out of MDF actually swell up. So if you have anything that's made out of uh, MDF, you should never ever wash it. It's not like I didn't already know this, but you should never put water or wash something that's made out of MDF. Um, the first two drawers swelled up as um, I kind of showed you a little bit. So at this point, it is really swelled up and not quite salvageable because it's all, yeah. If I sand this down, I will have nothing left of the MDF. Good news is there is one drawer that is still okay and did not swell up. I guess I didn't really put too much of water on this one. So that's good. It did swell up a little bit on the inside but that will get covered anyways. And for the rest of the cabinet, um, I might have to do a little bit of sanding on the lip of this one just a tiny bit because it is swelled up a bit. Um, but other than that, the rest is fine. I'm going to chuck two drawers away and then I'm going to leave the one drawer here on the top and on the bottom here I'm going to cover this up with an MDF board I'll just remember not to wash it this time and I will remove this side bit so I'm going to have nails and this can just come off uh, yep, there you go, this comes off pretty easy so I'll just chuck this away and then that way I could use like this place like for a basket or something so then I went ahead and gave everything just a light coat of sanding with a 240 grit sandpaper. Now the higher you go with the sandpaper grit or the number, that means the finer it is. And then I put the MDF board that I had cut to size in. I used a little bit of wood glue and my nail gun, trusty handy dandy nail gun to secure it in. I also closed up all the holes that um, on the inside of the cabinet from all the railings that I removed.
and then came the fun part of painting so I used rust oleum uh, paint in a dark blue I think it was coastal blue yeah it was coastal blue rust oleum paint chalk paint and I just went on painting I could have used a roller to get a smoother effect but at this point I just I kind of wanted that whole brushed up look like this was just really a beaten up cupboard with a brushed up look but in order to preserve this paint color so that it doesn't just flake off every time you touch it because you are painting on um, a melt like a smooth surface like a melamine surface although they say chalk paint won't really flake off or come off but I still after I painted two coats of this paint I still went over the whole thing with a spray of clear varnish that would actually set the paint in proper so it won't come off I painted the inside yellow because I wanted it to look a bit bright in my son's bedroom otherwise everything would just look too stark dark um, and it also just gives a little bit of contrast you could always decoupage this area I did think about decoupaging but at this point I just wanted this to be a quick project really and here it is after the second coat of blue paint and I also painted the side of the drawers yellow so it gives a little pop of color every time you open the drawers and before I did the varnish I actually sanded down the edges or where you would actually normally get um, wear on a cabinet like where you hold it where you touch it on the side just use your imagination give a bit of a rough sanding here and there using a very fine grit paper 240 again and then I went over it with the varnish so that it will like sort of set this wear and tear in place and it won't be um, and it won't wear and tear much anymore after that if you catch what I'm saying and this is the brand of varnish that I use a monosil brand it does take a very long time to dry if you use this varnish it took at least uh, six hours to dry I only used one coat I didn't want to over coat it um, one coat was more than enough and I did the inside just a tiny bit not so much and then here I went ahead and made my own hole so that I could insert my own drawer knob and here I lined the drawer with a wrapping paper you could use something that's more colorful um, well something just plain you could paint it as well but I thought a wrapping paper would look really good and I used just normal craft glue and then made sure that the sides had enough glue so it won't come off as you use the drawer and I got a basket from Kmart that is filled with my son's toys that's in his bedroom and I fit it in now I had to style this outside really because the varnish was not quite dry when I took the picture so I had to leave this cupboard outside and style it this way but it is in his room now and he absolutely loves it. And that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this trip flipped. I love seeing the finished result, it looked really really nice. My son just absolutely loves it, he loves everything, the inside, the outside and everything. I will definitely be thrift flipping. My daughter's waiting for a thrift flip for her, her bedroom too and she's excited to get moving. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!